So we would send like two people on defense and four people on attack and go for that goal. So I just kind of, I'll, ex I'll just walk you through like kind of our break. So like we're sending like four people on attack because that's like the most important. Because if you don't get that first goal in, then you're just going to get spawn trapped and then you have no chance for the rest of the MM. So I'm just showing you like kind of like what I'm doing, what I'm doing here. So you can see like the guy with the target is kind of back because he's the one with the target. We don't want that to reset. So he's going to stay back and like, the people that are attacking with him want to push out so you kind of see like i'm getting map control i'm pushing in into the i don't know if you guys can see my cursor or not but i'm pushing into the enemy team spawn so i can distract them get some kills or whatever like focus fire on me i'll hide this uh focus fire on me so actually i'll show that whatever anyway so he's still back there my team like you know they're kind of doing a crossfire here so i'm gonna go in so i see this guy look i see this guy i'm in i'm in there now kind of see like what I do. So like I'm I'm shoot some shots at him. I shoot some shot at him, but then I ignore him because I see that the guy with the target has been naded. So I want I want to help him. That's the most important thing as when you're attacking, you want to help the guy with the target. So I'm like seeing like is there anyone around here like where that smoke is? So I'm going to get taken out by my teammate. Like good crossfire. That's team shooting. That's good. And then I see this guy over here. So I guess I get a nice shot in him and it's clear now. Now, this guy th with the target, he has to win that gunfight. Because if he doesn't win that gunfight, then I'm going to have to go over and grab the target. I can see one of my teammates is shooting the guy with their target. So I make that split second decision. Okay, I'm going to go on defense because no one's there right now. I'm going to push out. That's what you got to do. You got to make these heads up plays. You got to have the foresight. So what do I do? I leave my target because I know like, oh, like my team is going to win that. I trust him. He's going to win that gunfight. I'm going to push out and defend. So this is what I do. I see he's kind of hi highlighted on a mono. I push up. I'm the only one here. So I'm here before him. I take him down. So now that I'm taking him down, I can see there's no one left on my team over here. So what you want, what, what would be the correct thing to do is just kind of stay around the target. Make sure no one makes any like flank plays or like last second hero plays or whatever. So I'm just going to stay around here. I'm coming to my teammates. Come help me. Back me up. Help me defend. Help me defend. So you can hear me say, help me defend. So I'm just waiting around the target around here. So I see someone. I see. I saw that guy from the side of my screen. He's taking a flank. So I'm automatically going this way and covering this lane so we don't get flanked. So he nades me. It's whatever. I win that gunfight. It doesn't matter if I'm didn't it doesn't matter if you don't win the gunfights as long as you make the correct plays because 50-50 you might win the gunfight, you made the correct play, but if you don't even make the right take the right route, then it's useless. Like what was the if I went mid map, it would have been useless. You would have got behind my team, grabbed the target, killed and it would have been your fault. So, I pushed out, push, push, push. killed him. Okay, he's grabbing, he's grabbing. Okay, nice. So now it would it just it's just going to get me scrappy like defense for the rest of the time. Uh just defense over here. I'll just kind of s play it out. Um, the reason why I'm breaking down this because I feel like I played like fundamentally correct in this yeah. MM. So like you know, just resetting the target, whatever. Is it the so I'm the dead. Time time so I'm calling the my t the, the enemies out, whatever. So now their their target reset. We reset that target. That was a good. Go that was a good like defense out of us because that goal that they had was a very like easily goalable goal but we defended it so now they got the corner goal which you don't want a goal in race majority of the times you don't want a goal the corner goal until it's like the last second because if you get a corner goal then it's very easy to get spawn trapped so just remember that like when you're playing race and mix or in cbs 90 90 percent of the time you don't want to go the corner goal so in 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 aa race you don't want to go the blue goal where it is right now and you don't want to go that very far one either because then you just get spawn trapped and it's very tough to get out. So you just kind of keep resetting the targets until you get a nice goal like what we have right now. So we're just going on attack, covering, throwing some nades, supporting my team. So he gets the goal. That's good. He got the goal. Um, I'll just skip forward a bit here. So now they got this goal again. So we're back on defense. So at this point, we were kind of making, we were just, we were deciding like, should we go on attack? Because the red goal, like ours is, uh, goalable as well like this is a good goal it's achievable and like we don't have any map control right now so we make the like if we want to attack someone's got to push out there and then we don't have much people on defense 
So we just make the decision, yo, we're just going to defend because we're winning on goals. So if you just defend right now and you defend hard, then we win the, win the round. So that's kind of what we do. We just defend whatever. Nello makes a good play at the very end and stops this guy from goaling like last second, like last 10 seconds. You can see up there. Like he makes a play, like the guy drums it. It's a good play. That was very risky on our part because if he had goal, then it would have been a draw, obviously. Anyway. Anyway, okay, so next round. Okay, same thing again. Four people on attack, two people on defense. You want to make sure you get that first goal. So that's kind of our objective right now. Same thing again, like I want to push out, get in front of the guy with the target, cover, get some kills or whatever. So I can see like my team is kind of like split up, like left side, right side. So naturally the middle lane is kind of clear. So I kind of see that opening to push in. I don't see anyone right now mid map. So that just shows me like I have space to go in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you got to like see what your teammates are doing and play off of them. That's why it's like really frustrating playing mix sometimes because some people just do really dumb things and then it's kind of like chaos then. But I can see my teammates are like spreading out that way, that way. So now mid, look what I do. I need mid because some guy could be there and I don't have sight on him. My team has Monomania. He, f he shoots this guy, team shoot with him, get that kill. Now, mid map is open for me now. So I can make a really good play here. Shoot these guys in the side. Get that guy, he's naded. There, three kills. Easy team wipe. We get the goal, and they don't goal either. That just instantly puts your team in such a good position. Straight off the bat, like first 30 seconds into the, into the, into the round, and you pretty much have to choke to lose this round. Now look, majority of the time, when you get this goal on the side, you will get this... Do you score a bad goal so you can get a good goal right after before getting spawn trap? X example, MMA scoring where you take ladder then getting middle. See, Tomoka, on MM, if you goal that ladder goal up top, it's, I don't know the probability, but it's very low that you will get a middle goal right after that. And it's very risky because if you goal up that ladder goal, your team's just going to get spawn trapped over there. That's why you don't goal that until the very end. Like, I don't know the probability. I don't know uh, how that... I'm not sure how probable it is to that you get the middle goal after you go the ladder goal. But it's very risky. That's why, like, no one really goals that one. Because, like, even if you try, like, goaling that once and, like, you goal it, your team's just going to get spawn trapped and it's not a good time. So it's better off just to, like, leave it. That's why MM Race is very, like, TDM heavy. That's why a lot of people love it because it's basically just TDM. But I'll get to MM later. I'm on, I'll just break down AA race for now. So, for example, when you goal this red goal, like with our team, like 90% of the time, you get this red goal after the one where I'm going to. So, the reason why I'm going there is because we got that goal. So, I want to get some map control. I want to hold down the line. Make sure the enemy team is not there before me. So, s immediately, I'm going here. And my teammates know that too. So, we're just going in, clearing it out, doing whatever I can. Sure, you lose the gunfight, whatever, but at least you're making the right play. It doesn't matter if you don't win the gunfight. So now, my team's all here. Good teamwork. We got that goal. Now, see, there's seven seconds left on their target. This guy on my teammate, the red one that's going towards their target, he needs to be there. He needs to win that gunfight. Yeah, you race is pretty bad. I don't like you, you race. It's very, it's very tough. If you don't go that first goal, then it's just so annoying because you just get spawn trapped. But yeah, that guy on my team going towards the blue target, he should have been, he's making a good play because he's going to defend that last second. Because, you know, like mid map is kind of clear right now. It's empty. So someone could just run in and goal that. But he's making a good heads up play, defending, looking around there. Four more seconds. We got a good goal again. So my team's just pushing out. Now, as I said earlier, like you want to push out to where the goal is, but I can see like there's like two of my teammates already trying to help that guy running it. So what I'm doing is I'm pushing out left side to get some map control and kind of like just funnel, funnel them in into their own spawn. So you want to spawn trap them. You want to keep them there. You want to get every angle and cover every like lane so they can't get out because they have a mid goal now as well. So that's even tough. That's very tough. I push out this way. I see him there. 
I don't know. Do I win this gunfight or not? Like, I'm not even focused on the gunfights. Like, who cares if you win the gunfight or not? If you set up yourself to make the good plays and go in the same position, like, right positions, like, everyone can aim decently well. Like, whatever. Like, reg is different for everyone, whatever. Like, you just got to make sure you're in the right position to make the impact impactful plays. So, yeah, my team is just defending. Everyone's, like, kind of stacked around the target. Because there's, like, this goal on AA race, the roof goals, you don't want to goal them. Because... They're very hard to goal. And then second of all, they're like on the roof. So when you drop down, the enemy team just can just kill you very easily. So you don't want to goal those roof goals. Only if it's last second as usual. Like these look like very risky goals like corner goals and roof goals like MM in the house or whatever. You only want to goal them at the very end. Same with BB race. You will only want to goal up top or underground near the end or in like very special circumstances where uh, like you're down on points and you need to go as much as you can you need to make like a hero play a hail mary play you need to go that shit like as quick as possible so we're just defending that's pretty much for this like the rest of this is just like whatever like the start of it was like the main part so that's whatever that's done now we're gonna go into mm race uh let me see exactly what part is it. so this is not a cb this is just a mix um let me see exactly what part I want to talk about. Okay, let me see what happens here. Okay. So, this is like more like critiquing the enemy team rather than my own team because this goal over here, the blue goal, this is pretty much impossible for them to goal because my spawn is literally right there. So it's very easy for us to defend and we're winning on rounds, like on the goals. So we can just sit back and defend and we'll win the round. We don't really need to run the target. That's why our target just reset there and I'm like ignoring it. I don't care about it. I'm just trying to defend. But the problem with the blue team is that they just keep grabbing this blue target and trying to run this and then they're just wasting time whereas if they just let this reset straight away they could have got this side to side goal in the alleyway and that would have been an easy goal for them and that would have drawn and if not they could have got another goal after that which would would have won them the game so this is like a huge mistake on the blue team's part like they should just be resetting this target asap and just waiting for the next goal rather than trying to run this like i get it, it's only one minute left but like i'm pretty sure they were trying to goal this like what time did they start running this? They, they've been running this since 1 minute 40 seconds. So if you reset this right now, you still have 1 minute to go to the next target. So you should not be running this shit right now. Like, that's a huge mistake. But still, 1 minute left. And they're still trying to goal this. Now, you're in the driver's seat in this position on my team. Like, you got to be able to defend this. So look, look at this. So you can see, my whole team has been wiped. They're all in their spawn. So this could be disastrous if they just wipe the people over here in my spawn they could goal it potentially but i make that heads up play i go into the house and you'll see what i do i go into the house just to block off anyone going to this coming in because if you this house is kind of a power position for this goal because you have a wall and you can just spray people down and they can't really like get you out unless they get into the house or auto aim you or something or just like turn on you so i'm just waiting in here as a power position because 50 seconds left it's okay to wall hug at the very end like if you're trying to defend so i'm just waiting to see what the enemy team does like i let them come to me i see uba here auto aim him whatever blue team's trying to make a hail mary play they're trying to grab that target run it all my team is funneled in here one nade or a couple of nades they're all dead so what do i do i wait i shoot him in the back i team shoot my teammates distract i'm using my teammates as bait pretty much look they don't know I'm here and they're too uh, focused on the target. So I'm just shooting them in the back. This is like a heads up play that you got to make, which saved the round pretty much. Like maybe they wouldn't have gold it if I wasn't there, but you just got to set yourself up to make those kind of plays. And then I just go like TDM or whatever. Uh, One sec. Don't show the final score.
Well, I, I didn't show any final score. I don't know. Uh, what do you, let me see what he said. Also, what do you think of people that take longer safe routes? So if you die with targets further for the opposite team to defend, or do you just say fuck and do fastest route even if you have to cut through their spawn? Um, see, damn, Cross Marion, twenty-one and ten. Go on. Anyway, uh, it depends on your team. It depends on how you're playing, what route you take. But majority of the time, you should be taking the safe route. There's it's very high risk high reward to run through the enemy team spawn like in bb race it's more possible but you need to get a team wipe like there's no point just like getting scrappy kills and like people are just gonna auto up uh spawn up and auto aim you and then it's just the targets is wasted because it's in the enemy team spawn it's very hard to get it up again so i wouldn't recommend running it through the enemy team spawn you should be taking the safe route and that would be the highest chance of getting the goal even if it's the fastest way, I don't recommend doing that. You should be taking the safe route. You should be playing together as a team, rotating to the right side of the map, whatever the side you should go to. That's what you should be doing. So I, this is like a BB race where like I played very well in this. But I just kind of want to explain like what my thoughts were like while I was doing this. So same thing again, like I'm pushing out. I'm nading different angles that I know like where people like to go, people like to run or whatever. So I'm trying to clear out as much as I can. That's your kind of a, jo a job. If you're not running the target, you should be pushing out. You shouldn't be baiting the guy with the target. You should be pushed out. So I see this guy. I nade him. I go for it. I get unlucky. I get the kill. I see this guy's highlighted on Monomania. My target's dropped. That's fine. I get naded. Nolan makes a good play. Runs the target. Who cares if I'm dead? We got the goal. That's the most important thing. First goal is the most important. Once you get the first goal, then you can kind of relax and TDM and whatever. Okay, so. Okay. Wait, let me bring it back. One second. Cause it's not clear right now. Hold up. Okay. Uh, no, no. One sec, one sec. Um, now. Okay. See Nolan right now. He's running it in front of the enemy team spawn. This would be considered a risky play. This would be considered a risky play. And sometimes it pays off, sometimes it doesn't. I'm not showing the first round, Crimson. You were boosting on me. I'm only showing the good plays. This is not a highlight. <laughs> anyway, look. So he's running through their spawn. That means he can get shot from behind. And like my team should be pushing right side and like cutting the enemy team off. Like this could work, but like against a good team, this would not work because usually like the enemy team would have gold off the rip as well but they haven't gold yet so their spawn is still in the corner so this could work but i see like there's already a few people going that way and i'm playing worst case scenario so i'm pushing left side to get some map control so i see three people are on the right side and i'm making the flank to do some crossfires help my teammate out so i'm nading where the target where i think he might be team shooting with him trying to defend as much as i can this is just like a gunfight kind of tip I'm wall hugging here because I don't want to get shot from someone else I just want to make this into a 1v1 gunfight against me with the guy with the target if I'm behind this wall then no one else can shoot me besides him so I'm just kind of wall hugging this right now staying behind it until I reload it to come out then I can push this guy he's not looking at me he's too focused on the guy with the with the target fair enough this guy's reloading, cut him out. This is a good play, like TDM, whatever. See, I see this guy. You gotta keep aware. Like, this is lucky, to be honest. Like, I out like this is very close. He almost killed me here. Anyway, so like you know, some people might like be panicking, like, oh shit, I just got five kills or whatever. But no, like once I kill this guy, I don't, I'm just gonna pause it to kill this guy like immediately i'm looking towards the the enemy team target because i know my teammates are all dead here i'm the only one here i gotta make a play i gotta look at this and i can see oh someone's grabbed the target they're gonna be coming towards me they think it's free you gotta look at him he's boxing easy kill that's fine i see that other guy from the side of my screen i saw him pushing in here so i know he's gonna try stop me or he's gonna try pushing out towards me to kill me so just win that gunfight win that gunfight Make the play. Grab the goal. It's okay. There's nine seconds left. You have time. There's no point. There's no need to like... That's what I'm thinking. Some people don't know how to play the mode. And some people play the mode too much. Like, 
Some people in that case would have just rolled and rolled and dodged and not shoot their gun and just try to goal the target. That doesn't work all the time. You're just going to get gunned down and you're just wasting away your lives. You got you to gotta know when to shoot and when not to shoot. Anyway, this is kind of like a brain dead play. Like my goal is on the other side of the map, but like I was feeling myself. So I'm just going into the enemy team spawn and I'm just TDMing. Like this is not what you should be doing. <laughs> See, I kind of realized it after this part where I was like, oh shit, I got to go because I have the target. So sometimes, yeah, like you get in the zone and you don't want to run the target. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, you understand now. So my team kind of here is not making the right play. Like there's no one here. This is very, this is kind of risky because I'm just going the target by myself. But like in a clan battle, some people on the opposite team might be camping around here, baiting me. And if I died, then there's no one here to run, follow it up. There's this one guy beside me. That's a good play. Like he's following me up. That's a good play. Now, now that my spawn is here, my team should be going to the right side. No one should be here on the left. Like, like actually our goal is over there. So they should be, but whoever spawns up should be pushing to the right side to defend because if you spawn up and you see your teammates are already attacking at our goal, you should be going to the other side. You should just be, it's just a game of numbers. How many people are on our attack? If there's like four people on attack, okay, I need to go defend. If there's four people on defense, okay, I need to go help the guy with attack. You got to know when to go. You can't just be like, well, I want a wall hug up top. Like I notice, like I have not gone up top once. Why? Because it's useless. It's useless. There's no goals up top right now. Why would I need to do that? I don't need to go up top. See, he's useless. He just jumped down and died. What was the point of that? Cheeky 10 consecutive kills. He's a... <laughs> nah. Anyway, so my teammates are doing good, like holding down the line here. Nolan's doing good, like distracting. Someone threw a chaff. But that's pretty much this, like, this play. And I just die over here. He tries to kill me. Puts me down. I miss my roll. He gets a good shot. Whatever, that's done. Uh, What, what is this? Okay, what is this? What is this? Oh, yeah, okay, I remember this. Wait, do I? What is this? Uh, I don't remember this. Okay, okay. Here, here, here. Uh, I'll explain. So, so, the enemy team got that goal. I can see that their next goal is in the house. So, that guy's rolling into the house. I don't see anyone else in the house. So, you gotta push into the house. It doesn't matter if you die. It doesn't. You don't need to go mid map. You don't need to go towards the enemy team spawn to TDM. You don't need to do that. All you have to, it's draw. A draw is better than a loss. You, I have to push in there and cover the staircase, cover something. So that's what I do. I push in. Who cares if I get gunned? At least I'm pushing in and making the right play. I'm nading it. He comes into auto aim me. He gets killed. He's dead. There you go. Now look at the time. Twenty eight seconds left. Three three. There's three people in the house. This guy's not hugging me. I see three people in the houses. I'm like, okay, I'm out of here. These guys are doing their thing. I don't even know how I just died, but whatever. Did I get naded? Oh, I got naded. Okay. That guy's good. He, That guy made a good play. He pushed out. CC race only good top goal. Uh, yeah, top middle. Yeah, that's a good goal. Yeah, you can do that. Yeah. Underground never. So my teammates are making the right play. They're grabbing the target. They're pushing that forward. Where's my goal? Yeah, my goal is over there mid-map. Okay. Uh, let me sl let me slowly break. Let me oh, hold it. Hold up. So, I just have to trust that guy in the house to kill their target. Because there's nine seconds left. I can't make it up into the house to stop him in time. That's just the lost cause. It's over. The only thing what I can do now is hope that he defends. Or if they go, then I have to go. So, what do I do? I make the play for, for going for the target. There's no point in me running through the alleyway. That will take too long. The fastest way from here, the goal, to the target is a straight line. So I have to run down mid. That's what I do. That guy. That guy, he just went to the right. What? Why is he doing that? He doesn't need to do that. He should be following me. He should be following the guy with the target. He should be covering the guy with the target. He should be looking at me in case I get shot, team shot with me. Do something. No, no, I'm just breaking down. I'm teaching these guys how to play the game. So you can fuck off, Nolan. Anyway, he should be looking mid-map, shooting with me, covering me. But he's just going off into Narnia, into the middle of the map for nothing. What if I had got shot? 
What if I died? Who's gonna follow up? I'll mod you one sec. There you go. There you go, you're moderated. But anyway, luckily I made the play. One second left. Golden. That's good shit. But that guy over there, he that was a bad play. He shouldn't have been done that. Well, f who cares about the first place? Whatever. Anyway, this is the last one. This is TT from the other day. I just put this in because I want to show different shit. Different MMs. But I'll kind of explain like what I'm doing here. This is something different for you guys. So TT, same thing. You want to go the first one. Like you got to do it like this. You got to weigh your options. If you can't goal the target, then you better defend. Because if they, if you don't goal the first target and they goal the first target, look how close their goal is, that red goal. Look how close it is to my spawn. If we don't goal our goal and they goal theirs, that's just the, the map over, the round over. You're just going to get spawn trapped. It doesn't matter how good you are or how good the enemy team is. Anyone can spawn trap. Like, you're just jumping down. You're just stuck in a place. Like, there's nowhere to push out. It's very hard to get out of your spawn if they goal that and you don't. So, you got like it's good to send four people on attack, two people on defense. So pushing out again is usual. Like Death Note is our shielder. Like this is just a mix, but he's shielding. I know he's shielding. So he grabs the target. Doesn't matter where he runs. I'm just going towards the target. Nading that because I don't know the timings. I haven't played this MM that much. So I'm just nading different spots where enemies could be using your nades. Show them restarting run and brief and BB race twenty times. Explain that. Show them restarting and briefing and BB race. <laughs> I don't remember that, Crimson. Anyway. Anyway, look, look, wait, wait. I missed a part. I missed a part. I was looking at chat. Anyway, look, 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 look. Wait, wait. I need to go back here. Did I skip too far? Oh, I skipped. What the hell? I thought I rewinded. Man, come on. Okay, here, here, here. So, there, this guy's going to win a gunfight. I look at him. Whatever. He wins that gunfight. So I know that pretty much there won't be anyone on the right. This place is this area on the right is clear and I see no one in front of me. So there could be enemies there. So what do I do? I'm going to push out. I'm going to get map control. That's the most important thing in race, getting map control, seeing to get making it clear for the runner to run the target. The runner shouldn't even be shooting like, well, he can't obviously shoot, but like he is to make it as easy as possible. No, Nolan, that was the second round. So what do I do? I push out. I push out. It doesn't matter if the target's all the way back there. I push out. I'm looking for an enemy. I see this guy here. Shit on him. Done. The target, the goal's clear. He's got a goal now. And now look what happens. The enemy team did not goal their goal. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh race. Uh, you reset the underground goal. Yeah. Oh, actually, I could have broken down oh, oh, race. We played that pretty well in CBs. But anyway, the enemy team didn't goal their first goal, and we did. Now watch what happens to them. They just get put in a headlock. You just win some gunfights, whatever. Help him and him run. See? There's no point me going towards the enemy team spawn. Like, look at my spawn. Why would I Why would I go to their, towards their spawn? That's a waste of time. Who cares if you're getting kills? You're not going to win the map. You don't have to be brain dead. Just make the right plays. Rotate. It's all about rotate. Look at all of us. Help him and run. Doesn't matter. Just don't nut hug. Like, see, these two are nut hugging. So, a lot of people do this, that. They just nut hug and then push in together. They think like, oh yeah, us three running together. They can't kill us all. And then they get three pieced or they get naded. Look, see, these two are just nut hugging here. I got naded, but they're dying over there. This is kind of baity, but kind of not because you don't want to just nut hug. You want to push in individually so that you have more chances of winning your gunfights. Or if someone throws a nade, you don't get all hit by the nade. So now I can push in and I can kill him. It's better to kill one than to kill none and die three people. So... In this in this exchange, three people died, and only one of the enemy team died. But that's better than zero people on the enemy team dying, if you get what I mean. So, my team's doing well, that they're covering this mid lane. That's where the enemy team's going to be coming from. Or they can come from our spawn, which is very unlikely, because our spawn's there, so they're not going to run through our spawn. So that's kind of like the choke point where you want to go. So I'm just nading there, because there's no teammates there. So I'm just nading it, trying to cover it. Whatever. Now, same thing again. I'm pushing up here because I see that there's two of my teammates already in the water mid-map. There would be no reason for me to nut hug them and stand on top of the goal with them. Get a different angle. You want to get different angles. You want to shoot from different angles. You want to 
don't go in the obvious spots. You want to make it hard for the opponents to figure out where you are, and you want them to give multiple targets to shoot at. That's what team shooting is about. See, that's why I'm making this play. I go over here. I go over here. So my teammate wins that gunfight. That's a good win. Sorry. That's a good win from Rayquaza. So now I see him dead. I win that gunfight. And I don't know if you saw earlier, someone threw a nade down there. So if I was there, I would have got hit by the nade. But I'm up here. I have the high ground. And I see my teammate has pushed out into that into that alleyway, into their spawn. So there's kind of like no point me staying up there and doing nothing. So what do I do? I make the heads up play. I go and get more map control. That's what it is. The story. Map control. Race is all about map control. I'm pushing in left. I see a guy here. I win this gunfight. I see another guy here. Wow. Why are they there? They're there because they made the heads up play. They went for map control. They know our goal is in that corner, so they're trying to defend. But what's my job? I'm going to go clear them out and get map control for my team. That's what it is. Race is just a tug of war of map control. Who can get the more map control? Because then it makes it easier to goal. People complain like, oh, race goals are shit or whatever. I, I disagree. You just got to know where to push and when to push and when your gunfights. So I'm clearing this out. I, realistically, I didn't need to do this. Like, I'm not going to get any kills here. But why? I'm checking this because I don't want someone to flank my guy with the target. I don't want someone to go behind me and kill the guy. And then we don't get the goal. So I'm just making sure I'm checking it, making sure that it's clear. Give it a few glances. That's fine. He should be able to go. That's fine. Easy goal. Going back mid-map. Pushing out. No one's in here. This is a lane that I can push out. That's what I'm doing. There's no point no hugging. Get map control. Story of race. They're rushing in. I'm not going to run into the nades. I'm going to fight the right, find the right angle. So I can see that their nades have stopped. I'm going to push in. They're occupied. Win this gunfight on Yam. Spray a bit. Win this gunfight on Nino. I'm one shot. Win this gunfight too. Easy. Okay, this is for like kind of advanced players. So say for example, you've popped like a five piece or a four piece. You're on a good streak. Personally, I would not stay here or continue to push into the enemy team spawn. It's useless. You're just going to die. Whatever. So what do I do? I just push back. I'm one shot. Why would I just continue staying there and spawn trapping? They're just going to nade me anyway. So I'll just go here. get Look at mid map. See if I can see anyone else. This is a good kill that I get. Fine. I don't know how he got there. But that's the whole point. Map control. I lose that gunfight. What happens next? So they gold it. Actually, no, they didn't. They didn't go there. So yeah, I'm just, uh, I'm just defending. Oh no, now they go there. Just defending, and now, uh, what happens? Okay. So, after they go, I look at my map. Look at their red goal. Their red goal is there. There's two routes for them to take to get to the red goal. One is to run backwards through their old spawn and all the way around, which is a very long route, which most people would not take because it wastes so much time. And if you lose the gunfight there, then you're just wasting even more time, blah, blah, blah. So the quickest route is to go where I'm going. But I know that. So I go there first. I go to clear it out. I go to defend. There's no point me just TDMing mid-map in their spawn. Like, that's just such a brain-dead thing to do. No, this is first round, Nolan. I'm pushing in. Eventually, I would have found a wall to wall hug or whatever to defend. But I'm just waiting here. My teammates are there. That's good. Fair enough. You made that play. You're over here. You're defending. But I'm like the first line of defense. I'm just shooting. I couldn't get that kill. Whatever. Yo. Yo, Moja. What's up? Oh, Lurker, it's okay. You can rewatch it back. Damn, nine people. People want to be educated. The school of dick word. Anyway, so I'm still here. I'm pushed out. Look, see, my two teammates are behind me. But what the hell is the reason for me to just no hug with them at the wall? Like, sure, a wall is a good protective thing, whatever. You don't get naded or you can just shit on someone. But I'm pushing out because you don't want to nut hug. You want to push out. Map control. Who cares if I lose this gunfight? Look, I'm spraying. I lose it. Whatever. But I'm buying my team time. They can throw nades. They know that people are there. I'm giving them call outs. Uh, I think I make a bad play here. Maybe. Yeah. Let me see what happens. 
forget. I'm just nading it just so we can all get flanked. Making sure that no one's here. Yeah. I look, made a quick glance. Cleared it out. Made sure no one's there. 40 seconds. Might as well defend. The target's here. They don't have time to flank and goal it. So I'm just throwing in the nades. I hit Nightfox, but he just teleported. Whatever. Uh, still holding the line. Okay. My teammates died. I kind of let them... Like, I don't know if I baited them or not. I didn't see. But anyway... I'm not just gonna push run in there like a headless chicken and try to win a gun find gun people down I'm gonna hold my ground stay up here there's no point in me running down the staircase making it easy kill or getting naded or getting auto aimed I should have just stayed up here because I, look at their guy with the target he's kind of scared he's defensive he's not really pushing and he's not he's not pushing in but what do I do I make a dumb play I go for the kill I should oh no he got naded sorry I try to go for the auto aim but I should have auto-aimed him here. He gets a good kill on me. My teammates jumped down too. That was stupid of him. He shouldn't have jumped down. Because he just dies there then. But if he stayed up here, he would have had a better chance to get both of the kills. But he jumped down. And that's just unfortunate they got the goal. But we won the round. Who cares? GG easy. Uh, does anyone have any questions, bruh? I don't know. That's pretty much everything. I don't know what else to say. What more do you guys want to hear? 13 people? God damn. What do you guys want me to do? What should I... Let me see if I can find some OO race. Uh, who did we play OO race against? Underdogs? Yeah, it was against underdogs. Even though we lost to CB, to be honest. Where's OO race? OO race. Here you go. Here's OO race. Okay, so, yeah, as Tomoka, you said, red side, you got the underground goal. You just reset this straight away because underground goal in, like, pretty much any map is terrible. And you're just going to get spawn trapped, and it's not a good time. So just reset that first goal. Everyone go defense. Some of my teammates are going up top because what's the point of six people just going through one narrow alleyway just to get all naded or all get headshots so spread out attack from different sides shoot from different sides crossfire that's the most important thing <laughs> nolan yeah so they chaff that's fine i look quickly over here because i'm making sure that if i make this flank i'm thinking of should i make this flank play or go watch that alleyway i'm i'm thinking that should I do it or not? I make sure that there's people mid map on my team. It's whatever. So I see that there's people there. So I have space or I have time. I have other teammates there. They can cover. I can look over this side. So me and Nello are over here. I throw some nades. I get unlucky with my timing. I lose the gunfight. It's whatever. But at least I made the right play. And Nello, Nello got some kills. That's fine. We know the target's there. That means we can all just defend there now. So I'm waiting for our target to reset. Look, see, that's some very important. Like There was a few seconds left. Wait for your target to reset. Just wait there a couple of seconds, won't do nothing, and so then you can grab the target. So I'm waiting to grab the target, I'm running. My teammates are still mid-map. That means I can run through this vent without dying. Why would I, why would I run left the safe route, quote-unquote safe route, but it would take longer, but I don't need to. I can make this risky play. I can run through mid-map. So that's what I'm doing. I run through mid-map because that's an easiest way, the fastest way to get to that goal. Try to team shoot with my teammates. Who cares? Just roll in and goal it. Who cares if you lose the gunfight? Whatever. Just roll in and goal it. The goal is most important. Not that one kill. Uh, so when traps happen, things get kind of hectic. So some terrible shots here. Lucky shot. Uh, some terrible shots again. I'm sorry. Damn, this is not good. Anyway, okay, so I'll just, show, I'll just explain something. So see that guy over there, yeah? I didn't kill him. It was a couple of seconds of gunfight. You don't chase the kill. The play matters more. Getting map control is more important. Like, I could have chased that guy and got a kill, or I could have got auto-aimed, wasting time. You don't want your guns gunfights to be long. You don't want them to be 30 seconds or whatever. You want to get be either die quickly or kill them quickly. That's it. 
don't waste time because then you're just going to get team shot and the longer the gunfight goes the more prob- probability that someone else will get involved in that gunfight either your own teammate or the enemy team so and well, that side of the map is pretty much useless right now anyway so i'm like screw that guy i'm going left side i'm helping my team we're all pushing out this side and their goal is i think it's above the underground on that side so this is the only way to get there through the safe route. Otherwise, we would have to go through their spawn and yada yada, very long, whatever. So we're all just pushing up this side. I'm just checking this side real quick because I know that guy was there, the gunfight I had previously with. So I'm just checking and making sure that we're not getting flanked. Checking this side as well. Because, look, I'm not going to know how good my teammates, four people, five people in a row in the line. What's the point of doing that? You're not doing anything. You're not being effective. Watch your angles. Watch the flanks. I'm looking for this guy again. He's still not there. That's fine. Now if someone comes. Perfect. See, I'm here. Yeah, I lost the gunfire. I got stunned. But I made the right play. The right play is very important. So they fucked up. They run their target through air spawn. That's They're never getting that out. 99% of the time, they're not getting that shit out. But if they ran it the other way or just waited or patiently saw the map or saw the the routes or saw the map control, they have map control right now. They could have run it. There's two people on my teammates, two, two teammates over here, but they could lose that gunfight. That's that's easy. That's easier. Run it. Facing two people in a gunfight is easier than running it through the enemy team's spawn. So they made a really bad play here. Their target's stuck in our spawn. How are they going to get this out? Even though that they do spawn right next to us, but it's just very tough. And then Bab gets a few kills here. That's good, good, good play for, by him. My goal is very easy. My teammate's covering me that angle. He's holding the line. I'm giving him the comms. Hold the line. Wall hug there. Good play out of him. BZ. And I'm just looking here. I'm just going to nade it. Uh, no one's there. Where's the next goal? Next goal, underground. Reset that shit straight away. Go on defense. We're winning. Just defense. That's it. Easy. Easy peasy. Get map control. Push out. See, so we're all kind of turtled in this one area here, which is not good. So we were kind of freaking out, kind of panicking, saying like, you know, we got to push out. We got to get map control. We got to ideally to push out through this doorway and get in would be the best thing to do because then you're kind of open area. You have maneuver. You can dodge. You can bait, whatever. So that's kind of like what the comms we were doing, like push out. Like I didn't want to run to that door and just get naded. So I just kind of found this corner through my nades. I get some kills. I'm not going to push in. Let them come to us. We're winning. We're in the driver's seat. Let them come to us. Our, their goal is over there. They're on the offense. We don't need to goal. Just stay defense. Don't get team wiped. Team wipe is very important not to get team wiped, especially in a uh, clan battle or in any MM. So I can see Bab needed some help over there in the flank. That's why I like using one or two AR2 because I like this. That's the kind of player I am that I like making different routes and trying to help and cover and looking different lanes. That's the kind of player I am. I'm not like a TDM or that can just go in the enemy team spawn and just spawn trap. I can't do that. So I can see my teammates made some effort, pushed in a little bit. So that's my, that's my goal. That's my cue to push in. So still nades coming in. Okay. Just waiting for the nades to stop. No point. There's no rush. Patience. Patience is key. Let them come in. Let them come in. Yeah. Perfect. Saw the nade coming in. My teammates are all here. It's okay. Made the play. Made the play. Now we got some map control. I see our goal. I push in. That's our chance. Pushed in. Now look. This is where you wall hugging and using your angles comes into play. Some players do this really well. Some people don't do this at all. Some people just would have been like, oh, five kills. Let me go try to get some more kills. Let's just go push into the enemy team spawn. Try to get a highlight. No. You push to the side. You get a crossfire because who's going to be realistically anyone that spawns up on the blue team they're not going to look over here they're going to be too focused on in front of them so this makes it perfect for me just to crossfire shoot them from the side shoot them when they're not looking and that's exactly what i do look at that he's not looking he's throwing nades next guy next guy wait for him he's not looking either dead that's just 
you don't need to have good gun skill in that situation. You just need to position your well. Like, anyone could do that. You just got to know where to position yourself based off your team and based off what the enemy team will do. And now, because of that play, we killed them and we got the goal. Now the rest of the the rest of the MM doesn't matter because we're such a, we have such a high lead and we won the first round. So oh no, this was the was this the first round? I don't remember. I think it was. Yeah. Anyway, we're such a high lead. Doesn't matter what happens now. Uh, that's gonna be it for the video, boys. Thanks for watching. I'm tired of talking now. But if anyone has any questions, I'll I'll wait two minutes. Otherwise, I'm just gonna turn off the stream. I'll show what we do the next round. Whatever, I'll let it play. I'll show what we do. So yeah, obviously they're gonna reset their first target as well. So this, I'll show you how we tackle this attack. So same thing again. Map control. Any further advice on getting advantages in gunfights? That's kind of like more like just general MGO. Uh, I can do another video on that of like how I how I tackle 1v1 gunfights and different styles there is. I'll do another video on that. I don't want to keep this video too long. I just want to keep this race based. But I'll do another video for like general MGO tips and like gunfights and movement and that kind of shit. Thanks for watching guys. But I'll show this. I'll show this play for Nolan. Anyway, look see. My whole team is over here. I'm making this play so I can get here because realistically, what if they get naded all over there? Then they're all dead. I can go over here, go mid map, get a different angle. That's the right play to do. And look what happens. I see this guy here. That's one less person to worry about. Why? Because I made that play. But see my teammates down below me? They wouldn't have won that gunfight. They would have got naded. They would have died. Who knows? But I made the play. I, I went up. I got a different angle. And I'm nading that vent again. So I get naded. It's okay. My teammates are throwing stuns and, and smokes now, I think. Yeah, stun grenades. Getting them confused. Nolan r makes a play. Runs in. Perfect. That realistically just kind of seals the deal for the map. Because once you get that goal, like I said, with race. First goal is the most important goal. Anyway, GG guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, I can see a lot of people like this stuff, so I'll try to do some more. Maybe like capture or base or just general MGO tips. Um, I hope you guys learned something. Thanks for watching, boys.